Hey, what's going on? Rarina here, and today I'm going to be doing a brief product review of this $25 eBay backup camera for our 2013 and up Ford Escapes. We did an install video on this four years ago, and I've had one mounted to my car for four years, and I'm now replacing it. I'm going to tell you why I chose to replace it with the same one instead of getting something different. I'm going to go over the pros and cons and why I like it. So let's get started. Before we get started, let's talk about what comes with the camera. So this is what comes with the $25 backup camera kit off eBay. You just have your generic box. It doesn't have an escape or anything on it, but this lamp housing does fit the lamp housing above our license plate. And I have a whole install video if you're interested in doing this yourself. I'll link it in the description below and in this video. From the camera comes a video input output and a power input output. The video input output plugs to this long cable, which routes back to front of your escape and plugs into the two pins in the connector behind your APIM module and your stereo. Again, that's all in the install video that we have linked below from four years ago. And then this is a lot shorter. It's your power connector that goes into the red jack here, and the positive and negative leads tap into your reverse lights so that when you shift into reverse, the power from those lines activates the camera and sends a signal through the video feed in this camera into the APIM. All right, so here is the camera that's been installed in my car for the last four years since that install video that we did. Um, to be honest, the camera works great. There's no hiccups whatsoever in the performance for the $25 value with the install it took. Um, it's absolutely worth it, in my opinion, if you don't mind just running the wires yourself. It's just this plastic lens fogged up, and that only happened in the last year or so. And I'm not sure if it was typical shelf life of it or not. It's not like salt and debris. It's not on the outside. I can try cleaning that off and wiping it off. It still feels nice and smooth. It just got fogged up on the inside. But for 25 bucks, I could get a whole brand new one and just swap it out with the housing. It's almost a no-brainer for value. I mean, this lasted me four years. In fact, I've been pre pleasantly surprised with the price point for this, how well it's done. So let's take a look at what the backup screen looks like with the fogged up lens. Something I'm also impressed about with this camera is it's fairly powerful. I mean, even with that lens all fogged up and you can't see it, when I go into reverse, it can see through all of that mess that's in the lens there. So you can still make out the driveway, you can still make out the grass and the street. Now granted it's daytime, but I can see that car going by right now. That's really why I got this camera, was to see if there's any people or any vehicles behind me. This kit is pretty simple, so it doesn't have compatibility with the guidelines, those white lines that form when you turn the wheel when you're backing up with the factory camera. But as long as you're okay with that, this is a great kit for the money. So I'm going to swap out the old camera for the new one and show you what it looks like brand new again, and we'll go from there. Because we already have the installation video for this process posted on our channel, I'm going to go over this pretty quick. So you pull off the interior panels and then remove the four nuts that hold this trim panel above your license plate. It'll come free and you can install the housing and run your wiring in. Alright, so we have our new camera installed and I'm going to show you what it looks like brand new again. Let's see how clear it is. There you go, you can see a lot more color, a lot more depth. Again, the driveway, the grass, um, the car in the street, mailbox. Everything's there. You can even see some of the tools in the driveway in the bottom left corner here. This thing has night vision, right? Let's check that out. So in this video here, it's evening. Looking at the backup camera screen, you can still see a lot of color contrast. You can see the green in the grass, the black driveway, the car that's still parked outside, the white mailbox, and a second ago there was even a car that was driving in the top left corner. You may notice that the screen seems to be flashy and with lines going down, but it's actually just an effect of my cell phone that I'm using to record this video looking at the screen and the dash. It's a very clear picture and a very good night vision camera. Now the question is, we see the red, yellow, and green, but what does that actually mean? How far back does that go? We took a tape measure starting from the very back of the bumper of the car and recorded the distances for the red, the yellow, and finally, the green thresholds that show up on the screen with this eBay backup camera kit. So again, going back to our screen, looking at the camera, the round painter's tape cover at the red threshold, again, is at one and a half feet behind your vehicle. The box that the camera kit arrived in is the beginning of the yellow threshold. That's about two and a quarter. And then the green roll of painter's tape at the back end of the green threshold is four and a half feet. So that's how I would try and remember what those thresholds are. So let's go over the main list of pros for this camera kit. 
For starters, again, it's $25 in free shipping. It's very inexpensive. It has a very high quality image with excellent night vision. It's really easy to install and wire up from the back to front of your car, and it's really easy to replace as well. And finally, aside from the fogging up, there's been no operational issues with this camera for the last four years. And in turn, let's review the cons. So there's no integration with the factory steering guidelines, meaning the white dotted line that goes down the middle and arcs to the left or right as you turn your wheel. This can be helpful, but I didn't think it was necessary, so it's not a huge deal to me. The wiring to the dash is not difficult, but can take some time and patience. This will be the case with any kit that you have. And finally, I still don't know why that lens fogged up. Now let's have some fun and take this thing apart. All right, well now that we have the new camera installed, here's the old one. And I was curious to see if I could get to the backside of that lens to see what exactly fogged it up. I took a set of pliers and just popped the housing apart. And it appears to have uh, silicone potting in it. So it just means that you pour it with silicone to fill everything in. The electronics can still work, but you're not going to get any moisture in there. So continuing with the teardown, I did my best to remove the pieces without destroying anything. The camera came first, and then I noticed that the lens assembly was still in there. I wasn't sure if I could get to it without damaging it. There's a lot of silicone potting around everything. So this is the housing, obviously. The outer housing, this is kind of a silicone filling that they poured in there that I kind of scraped and ripped out. This is a screw-on retainer for the back of the lens assembly. Um, this was the bezel that goes around the front of the lens. This is the actual lens subassembly itself, and this is the glass lens cover. It's actually glass. I'm pretty impressed with that because I wondered if it was plastic. I couldn't tell when it was all put together, but it makes sense that it's glass because if it were plastic, then this would be what's getting scratched up and fatigued even through the winters and the hottest of summers. But the fact that it's glass means that you should still have a pretty clear image. The camera itself is immaculate. It's in great shape. Again, there's no apparent damage to this actual camera component itself. Also, the fact that this lens subassembly is contained, and I can't seem to disassemble it much more than this without just destroying it, made me feel a little bit better about replacing this camera as a whole assembly for the $25 that it is, because there was nothing that I could do to avoid that fogging up. Now, you may say that's going to fog up. Why would you buy it again? Well, I, I really appreciate the simplicity of this camera system and how it hooks up to this car. So $25 and an extra 15 or 20 minutes to swap it out after four years of use, I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, well, that about wraps it up for our review of this $25 eBay backup camera kit for our 13 and up Ford Escapes. We hope that it was pretty clear on how this installs, what the range and distance warnings look like with the color coding, as well as just the general pros and cons with this kit. Um, if you thought this was helpful, please like it and share it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate the subscribers coming back for more videos. And also be on the lookout for our How to Escape app project, which is pretty neat. We're working on that and we're excited about it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.